Hello and welcome to another Max MSP tutorial. I'm Andrew Robinson and in this video we are going to talk about FM synthesis which is a great form of sound synthesis that I find myself coming to time and time again because not only does it create really cool sounding sounds but it's also incredibly easy to do. Um, and this sound may sound familiar to you as it was used in a lot of movies in the 80s such as Blade Runner and uh, Star Wars and I'm going to show you how to program it in Max MSP. Um, also in case you don't know FM synthesis. What is it? Um, FM synthesis is when you take a sine wave, such as what is created by the cycle tilde object, and you use it to modulate another sine wave. So we're going to start by creating our cycle object, and then we're going to create two sig objects, sig tilde objects, um, which just converts a number into an audio signal. So we patch a float number box into our sig object box, and then we can highlight it and alt drag click to copy it, or you know, just copy it paste. Um, so that way you have two of them, and then we're just going to use a multiply tilde value to multiply these two values together. In case you are brand new to audio, um, or max MSP, anything with a tilde on it is an audio signal. And these are audio signal patch chords. So we are completely working in the audio domain right now. Um, and that is very important to know. Uh, all this stuff, anything audio has to have that tilde. Anyways, we're gonna just take our multiplied sig value. So this uh, sig value is our base, and this is modulating it, and we're just gonna patch that into our cycle to start. So we get our first modulated sine wave. And I'm gonna say that this first one is our pitch. Um, because it is, this will be the value for our pitch, and this one will be the harmonic frequencies, or I'm just gonna type harmonic. So uh, that way now we know that these are what they are. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do next is we are then going to take this cycle sound and we are going to add it back into the original uh, audio pitch signal and then we're going to patch that into a cycle tilde object and right away this here is already FM synthesis because we are taking one cycle sound wave we're modulating it and we're using it to modulate another down here so bam FM synthesis right there and if we turn this on and patch it into an easy DAC audio output we should get some pretty cool sounds right away Okay, we are modulating by our harmonic frequency, but changing the harmonic frequency is not changing our sound yet. And that is because um, we're going to add one more little bit of code in here to make it all work very nicely. And that is a third sig uh, value for our depth value. I'm gonna change this to depth. Uh huh. And um, this is going to go into its own cycle object. So it is its own sinusoidal oscillator. And then we need to take this, our pitch value that's being multiplied by the harmonic we're then going to modulate that by the depth yep um, by multiplying it and then we're going to take the output of this cycle so just the pitch and the harmonic modulation cycle multiply its output by our uh, multiplied pitch harmonic depth output and um, then we're going to take that and we are going to use it to then modulate and multiply by our uh, original pitch value with the with the harmonic frequency added back into it, this. And now we're going to get some crazy insane sounds because what we're doing is we're modulating the pitch and harmonic based on, based on the depth cycle. And then we're also modulating the amplitude of it uh, based on the depth cycle. So it's going to give us some pretty crazy insane sounds. And you already see that right away already sounded completely different. Yeah, that's that lightsaber sound. I love that. Okay, so yeah, right away, we're getting some crazy insane sounds, and I'm just changing these values randomly. I'm really not even thinking about it. So, you know, that's somewhere you could go with this project. You could make an FM sequencer that just randomly picks pitch harmonic and depth values and generates just random sounds, and it would be really, really cool. Um, 
That's not the only place that this ends though, or the direction you could take this. The beauty is that because we're just using cycle objects to uh, modulate cycle objects, we can start to link these together pretty much forever. Um, if you just patch everything together correctly, but you could then take this cycle output, have it modulate another cycle like this, what you're doing up here, add it back into itself, and then you're gonna get even more insane tones. So it's really simple, it's really versatile, and you can expand it a lot of directions. Um, and it's kind of, it does seem kind of confusing, but hopefully this kind of makes some sense. All we're doing is we're just m modulating our signal values by multiplying them together everywhere. And then we're just using those multiplied values to drive the sine wave of the cycle object. And as long as we kind of just continue to multiply and you just remember the only place where you're adding is back into the original pitch cycle, um, then you're gonna start to get crazy tones. You could, you can even start to change these things maybe. Like it won't, I don't think it would technically qualify as like FM synthesis, but if you just change this, you know, multiplication to an addition or like maybe the cycle to a phaser or sawtooth or square wave, whatever, like, you, you know, you're gonna start hearing other crazy cool sounds happen too. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about experimentation. Um, so hopefully there's something in this that you learned. It's pretty quick, but that's because it really is just that easy. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them more in the comments down below. Please remember to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. It lets me know that you found this video helpful. Um, and also I have a Patreon that in this new year, I really want to get put together and, um, have a lot of extra tutorial videos out there for you guys who want to learn even more. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to that if you are, if that sounds interesting to you. And, um, I'm really going to start to crank out videos there as well. So I look forward to it and I will see you guys all in the next video.